This is lesson number nine in book D, and we are doing a, a simplified and modified version of the furry lease in this in this uh, in this piece. I'm only going to spend one week on it because I really don't like this. I would really prefer to take this out of our curriculum and take it out. I don't believe in taking anything out of the textbook because I think this prep course has been put together really, really, really well. It's very comprehensive and. I don't want us to have any holes in our learning, so I don't skip around, I don't skip things, because I think each one is there for, for a specific purpose. I'm hoping that this one is only here to bring back Beethoven so that the kids know they like him. And and I don't know if kids are um, really, um, you know, grab onto this so much. They do love the Ode to Joy, if you remember from the first book. there in the left hand we called it the song of joy and I played some accompaniment and some of some kids even learned it two hands together and that was lots of fun and they do like it um, but this one is a version of and then we go into all these arpeggios that are just gorgeous music uh, this is simplified parents um, as much as I dislike this I hopefully will keep my negative opinion about this away from your child you, I, I'm assuming your ears are going to hurt for this line and this line, which are the same. It doesn't sound right, but it is written. It is written this way. And then we've got an extra note or maybe even a left out note. I can't quite tell, but it doesn't sound quite right to me here either. This is the only place where they play two notes at the same time. Everything else needs to be played uh, in in beat. So that it's it's one note per beat and I think this is why I um, why I have trouble with it as well it's just hard for me to like it so um, one note at a time and it's just quarter notes that your child can play it fast if they like to I don't think it's necessary so I am going to um, play rather slowly I think somewhere around here I bobbled it a little bit because I, I have too much muscle memory of the way that it's it's supposed to be played. Bump, 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 bump. And so there's where it's kind of funny. So anyway, that's how that's supposed to be. But, you know, the technique actually isn't so bad. So the technique goes with this. They can maybe spend more time working on their technique. Whole notes need to be held down. These chords, these broken chords are repeated. And these two are the same as well. They're repeated. And this is, this is the same as that also. So what we're doing, and here we just play backwards. We just go down. What we're actually playing is the G minor. This would be the G major. But we're going to make this a minor. And then we're also playing the A minor. If we were if we were to play the A major, it would be like this. This is the A minor. So what you're actually doing is you're taking this third and you're bringing it down. If we were playing jazz, we would say that's a blue note. But that's the difference between a major and a minor is that, that the middle one is down a half because we can't split a fifth evenly. So we're doing, those are our chords there. It, this sounds like this. Okay, that's this week, and because I don't want you to spend as much time actually on the piano working on the for Ludwig, we are going to have a little bit more paperwork. If I've asked your child to play this, it's probably because they're having some trouble with their wrists. So I really want them to work on that wrist. A staccato is an easy way to get the wrist up is to add a staccato there. Uh, it's it's a cute little song, but uh, not necessary for us for our learning. And on the back, there's a little bit of practice here with flats and sharps. 
So really it's just matching. They just match the lines up. And then you'll see we're doing more writing in the notes. This is the same as what you've seen before uh, with some other worksheets. And we're matching up our new position in G also. So make sure that they can do this. If they're still taking a lot of time to decode, or if they're like counting with letters to try to get there, that's not what we want. We, we want them to be able to see it and just know exactly what that is. So they can just see something and just say B, A, and just it should come out instantly. So, all right. Have a good week.